It is October 28th, about 2.50. I haven't vlogged yet today, so this is the first entry for today. Um, we're in the, the pan yard. And Tom Miller is with us today. And I'm going to put some of the footage from today's practice with Tom. And then I'm going to give it an entirely different video because I have so much clip. So, um, that's really about it. So, thank you guys. Soka. Soka is a newer form of Calypso, okay? And he was a monarch of Calypso. Every year there's a competition and they pick the king of Calypso at these competitions. Well, there was all these young people coming up with Soka music, and he was singing Calypso. So this was one of his first Soka songs, and it's called Soka Pressure. The lyrics he talks about um, how he's an old man, and he's competing against all these young guys, okay? But he's going to bring it. Right? He's going to bring it hard and he's going to win the competition. Okay? Um, so, in general, what the lyrics start out is he first talks, he first talks about um, they used to say the old man done, the young guys have him on the run. Okay? But they realized they made a big mistake because I'm only giving those young fellows a break. Okay? So, as the lyrics goes on, he gets more confident. So, what I'm trying to say here in terms of the chart you have in front of you, letter C. Letter C is where he's really bringing it on in the song, okay? And he's making a proclamation, 1985, this is the year it is, okay? Who survives, survives, okay? Basically, he's trying to say, I'm really going to bring it. So, in terms of the music, nothing really climaxes until letter C, okay? So, when we think about shaping this in terms of how it was sung, we want to hold back a little bit in the A and the B section, okay? Think of letter A. Think about you're singing a song or you're talking to somebody about, I'm going to be in this competition and, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. But by letter B, you're feeling a little better about your chances. And after talking to your friend by letter C, it's like, I'm going to win this thing, okay? That's, that's how the student should shape it, okay? So, Think of that from, from an emotional sense. Letter A is like you're not so overly confident yet. Bring your energy back a little bit. Build it gradually through. Okay? Can we try that? Can we just take a little edge off of letter A? And then with letter B, the bases come in. Okay? Keep your edge off a little bit of letter B. And then letter C is when, when it comes. You're going to have to help us a lot with this. Too. Okay? You're going to try to be the dynamic. Because they're going to play with, with you. If you play while they're going to play a lot of people, it's not built inside. Now, I'm not asking you to take this down and play this one. We don't want to make this a battle here. Okay? This is pretty much, instead of like playing everything at this level, play letter A at this level. Okay? So we're talking minor stuff here. We're not talking drastic dynamics. We're just talking about a whole energy creating. Right? Think of a conversation. You know, think of like A, B, I'm getting more confident with each section of, of two. And as I talk to my friend, I'm getting more confident about my chances. Okay? Let me try that. Let's go right on letter A, actually. We don't need to start with the intro. Okay. Is that letter A? Good? Okay, one, two, and one, two, three. <laughs>
Jason in my kitchen, and we have two guests on the show today, Alex and Gigi. Oh, and Lily. Guess what? No, I. <laughs> Because Gigi hasn't seen one, Alex. Is that brother placement? Is there any other... Is that brother placement? I don't know. What? Is it brother placement? You said we're going to watch the G-Vlog. And the G-Vlog, so is that brother placement? I, don't, I guess so. Look, guys. It's the G-Vlog. And we're filming the G-Vlog. And we're oh, here. Oh, shit. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> the internet. The world. <laughs> no. The, in, the, the world has collided. Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys. I edit this video. Hey, Alex is so bad. I want to be Harvey Cartel then. I was going to say, you saw that part in the movie where yeah. he was like... <laughs> For all of you that have seen Pulp Fiction, I don't need to say the word, considering the fact that they use every cuss word known to man. Hey, hey. white people are allowed to use the N-word, Garrett. You know why? I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. You know who owns this money? I'm not going there. But if you, if you have seen Pulp Fiction... Quentin Tarantino is a good film director, but he uses just about every guest word. Um, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Exactly. So. <laughs> okay, can you calm down? Can you calm down? Can you calm down? Can you calm down? Nod yes for yes. Okay, okay, okay. He's, he's gonna have the stuff cake. <laughs> I heard some naughty words. That'd be funny. There. Pulp fiction with zombies? It's like Pride and Prejudice with zombies. <laughs> yeah, it is. Or Bobby Dick and zombies. What? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> or what about the Ten Commandments and zombies? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that just opens up all kinds of Jewish jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about, um. Wait, I don't get how. Wait. What about, what's another funny movie? What about Blazing Saddles with zombies? <laughs> what? Mel hmm. Brooks. What do you think? Monty Python and the Holy Grail. With zombies. zombies. <laughs> yes. Winner. Okay, so uh, so everybody, to end the vlog tonight, tonight's question. Monty Python and the Holy Grail with zombies. And where do we get coconuts? <laughs> the grocery store. Walmart. Or... You can, buy, you can buy coconuts at Walmart? Yeah. They're like Liars. a bunch. Walmart's awesome. Okay. Or... I didn't, I or... Didn't really Pulp coconuts. Fiction with zombies. Tell me in the comment bar. Okay. Well, if you're scared to say the N-word, Garrett, we can't do Pulp Fiction <laughs> um, with zombies. Uh, we, we will have to watch it. No. Okay. No. I will not. Not going there. Censor. Not going there. Not going there. Such so, a great work of so, art <laughs> as Pulp Fiction. No. Okay, so since my battery is starting to get low. Quentin um, Tarantino made that movie that way for a reason. It was a good movie. It is a good movie. It was made and you know why? Because he's not scared to say bad words. <laughs> what about like you? You're scared, Garrett. You're a scared little boy. <laughs> Shut up. You're a scared little cracker. That's what you're <laughs> so. Yeah, see? You're not scared to offend the white people. <laughs> Shut up. Cracker ass. <laughs> Shut <mother>. up. <laughs> so, so we're going to end the vlog tonight. And, um, so... Say night, everybody. Hey! Wait. What's up, kids? Wait. Say night, everybody. Night. Night, everybody. Good. See you tomorrow.